Hi, welcome back to The Throttle Cable. I'm Rob and today on the 996 I'm going to be doing a rear seat delete. It's a pretty straightforward, simple job to do. Gives the car a bit more of a motorsports feel. Um, you can argue you can lose some weight out of the car, although, albeit not a lot. There is a few guides online that I had a look through before I did it and I realised that quite a bit of the content that's out there is incorrect. So I'm going to show you what I did, how it's done, what tools you'll need and yeah, 10 minute job that's free and easy and changes the, uh, the feel of the cabin. I'll show you how it's done. I'm in the back of the 996 and this is the completed seat um, removal in, in, the, in the back. I'm just going to walk you through the steps. It's easier to show you this with the seats removed and, and I'll show you on this side as well the like for like of what I've done so you can see how it finishes off looking quite nice and, uh, and clean in the back here. Okay, first I'll walk you through the tools you're going to need. First off, you're going to need something to pry off the plastic trim. Uh, I just use a, a large flathead screwdriver. You're going to need 4mm Allen key. You're going to need 17mm socket or spanner, one of the two. And you're going to need an 8mm spline drive. This is not a Torx, it's a spline. Um, so make sure you've got the right tool. I've seen on the on Tinterweb that somebody said you use a Torx. I tried that first and uh, didn't realise that it is actually a spline bolt and stripped the first one of these. So I then had to remove it and I've had to order a new one up. So uh, just make sure you're using the right tool and not following somebody else's duff installation or deinstallation guy, I should say. So what do we need to do? First things first. First thing is to get off the seat bases. Two bits of Velcro, dead easy, lift them up out they go. Next thing, seat belt receiver. It sits quite happily in here. All you need to do is uh, pry off the bit of plastic. This is the piece of plastic. This trim on the back goes over this stud which is threaded and it just helps lock it on. This bit of trim on the top receives into this metal spring clip. So that one's relatively tight but as long as you get a, a pry under the top and a pry under the bottom you're moving these two things out independently. Then you can just put the bolt back in, store it there, and then this clip simply pushes back on that uh, nut on the bottom. So that's that, job done. On this side, to release the seat belt, the 17mm uh, socket releases that. There is a little plastic washer here. Um, that got a bit squashed because I didn't realise that when I put it back in, it went between this spacer, which is loose, and, and this washer, um, sorry, this bolt head, which is stepped. So, yep, I've ordered up a new one of them to replace the one that got damaged. Um, but otherwise, that's nice and straightforward. You can then just pop the cap back on it, which is on there from, uh, from the original installation. So let me pop that back on. Done. Right, seatbelt itself. On the seatbelt itself, you'll see that there'll be, a little bit further up here, a little tab which stops the, um, the buckle from going all the way down to the bottom using your pry tool or flathead screwdriver just break the tab these little things cost pennies and i happen to have a packet of the porsche ones in the garage they come in packets of about 10 i think reason for doing that is once you've done that you can then hide this seat belt so it's not sat here still or flapping around so how do you do that up in the top corner there is this trim panel this trim panel simply has two slots on the top which it slots up if i look here it slots up here into the, uh, the, the the back of the pillar and on the bottom there are just two little clips which clip it at the bottom so once you've taken out this trim tab you can slide the buckle all the way down and you can then put this up like that and hide it literally hide it up here behind the original aperture and then clip back in you'll see my seat belt just hidden behind there it will clip straight back in over the top and that's it that's that then hidden up and out the way and it's a doddle to do but uh, it just keeps everything looking nice and neat there you go hidden and it just means that you don't have to remove any buckles or anything and it's nice and straightforward right then once we've got all of these bits out that's all the seat belt buckle all the base is done you've then got the rear of the seat now the rear of the seat um, you've got this black bit in the middle and you've got two bolts either side and essentially that is how the seat is held. So what you first need to do, let's start at the sides, on each side you'll have this clip. 
This clip is bolted here and this pin goes into the side of the seat. So you'll need to pry off this bit of plastic, which this bit of plastic just has a little tab that goes into this hole here. And then you'll be looking at this combined two little bits of uh, a, a kit. And this is where the spline bolt is. So you just release that spline bolt and then uh, you can, well, that, that will come out. This will still be sat in the seat. So you'll have the seat kind of sat here at the moment with the spline bolt removed. Repeat on the other side. Now here, on the internet, I've read that all you need to do is ping this upwards and then out and then you've removed it. If you ping it upwards, you break it. And that's exactly what I did. So the back of this bit of plastic snaps off. So again, I've had to order up a new one of these because I want to have it sat there in place just to hide it. Now, I believe this little bit of uh, trim plastic will receive in here. I, I, I didn't see it because it broke before I had it, but that will literally just need to be released forward. The reason it's released forward is because sat through this hole is this, this, this little bar. This is where the four mil Allen bolt comes in. So you release this and that would then mean that the seat is free, but either end of this goes into right hand side seat, left hand side seat. And if you remember over here, you had these things going into the end of the seat. You have to lift the whole thing out as one unit, but as soon as you've got it forward to somewhere about here, you can then pull everything out. And these are just slotted in. You just slot it out left and right. And then, yeah, you've removed the seat. It's that easy. It shouldn't take any longer, pretty much, than it took me to tell you how to do it. But that's how it's done. And then in the end, you end up with a nice, clean, no seat belt look in the back which I like. If you want to do it, have a go. Good luck. If you are going to take your seats out, what I would say is be kind to them. Wrap them up. Get yourself some, um, it's like cling film, but it, it's wrapped, parcel wrap, and it'll keep it nice and fresh and clean in there. Uh, I'll put two pieces together and just wrap them up. When it's job done, you don't have to worry about damp, moisture, things being spilt on them, etc., etc. Anything eating them, they're nice and clean.